Hi everyone, welcome back to U-Boat. Here we are. Thank you ever so much for your feedback from the last video. Uh, many of you did enjoy it and uh, want to see some more. Uh, we've got the a crew just running uh, loops around the uh, the port for some reason. Try to keep fit, I guess. But welcome. This is the sandbox mode. So last time out, we had a look at the tutorial and we ran it from start to finish. Now we're going to have a little bit of a free play in sandbox mode. So... First thing to note, there's been numerous patches since the last video, uh, and the captain has changed his name. He was Colo, wasn't he? He's now Graf. So, um, yeah, his surname has changed, which is uh, interesting. The others, Newman, West, Loris, exactly the same. So that's all good. So welcome to the sandbox mode, and welcome to the port. So we're in La Rochelle, which is fantastic. We've got the warehouse here, and we've also got recruitment, and we've got the leading officer to speak to. So, uh, I guess we can select the captain. Uh, let's go into uh, first perspective. And uh, we'll take manual mode. Oh, let's leave position first. Uh, we'll just come back and uh, go and check out what's on offer at the the warehouse. We've got binoculars around our neck. Fantastic. So, we'll just um, disembark now as the boys are running rings around the yard. <laughs> don't know what that's all about. Anyway, so thank you so much for us. As I said from the previous video, I'm glad you seem to enjoy it, most of you. Uh, sorry for those who didn't, but uh, we'll try and check out a few more features this time. As always, hit that thumbs up and like button if you want to see some more, and I'll bring you some more as soon as I can. This is Hans Fischer, the warehouse supervisor. Let's have a look. What do you need, officer? Uh, show me what you've got. I want to upgrade my ship. Let's have a look. Show me what you've got. Okay, so we can um, trade equipment, uh, first aid and spare parts, replacement parts. Okay, so we've got four replacement parts. We've got 40 large caliber high explosive ammo for the deck gun. Four med kits. <laughs> four potassium absorbers. Potassium permanganate is the absorbent, uh, is the absorbers react with the carbon dioxide and effectively clear it from the air extending the time of its usefulness for breathing. Oh, okay. Sonar decoys, the bold system. We've got 40 exotic fruits and 10 scrap metals. I wonder if we can get... we got five... How much money? Do we have any money at all? Um, oh, okay. we can break it down with equipment. Food, you can buy some potatoes, uh, some preserved pork, some sausages, some canned meats, dried fish, cheese, canned meat. Okay, more canned meat. Uh, we can get some large caliber armor piercing ammo and some smaller caliber HE ammo. Uh, fuel, we've got quite a bit of fuel. Okay, torpedoes, here we go. Uh, so we've got T1s and T2s. We do actually have some room. Let's get a couple of steam. Shove those in there if we've got the money. I don't know if we have. Equipment, let's get a few more spare parts. Uh... Yeah, let's get five spare parts. Food, um, cheese and fruit. I, I, I fear that's going to do awful things to our digestion. Um, so should we get some canned meat for... Let's get some spuds. Can we get spuds? Yeah, 29 spuds. Oh, we've got 160 left. Okay, exit. Good. Let's have a look at upgrades to the ship. Conning tower. What can we do? So we've got the conning tower default conning tower, but we can have a, um, the term one. Tier one conning tower is heavily, it's heavier and more armoured than the default conning tower and it also equipped with two additional uh, AA or any aircraft guns. That's 10,000. We, we don't have that. Um, what, so what else do we, can we click on then? So you can see the green conning tower there. Nothing else I can see external. I was wondering if we could upgrade the gun or if we could upgrade the hydrophone, but maybe we do that from inside, from the... Um, these. Here we go. The listening room and the radio room, we can upgrade there. We've got an upgrade for the pipe. I can't click on that one, though. And nothing in the torpedo room. So let's have a look at the listening room. Upgrades. Um, the KDB, Tier 1 hydrophone system for 8,000. We've got 160, so we can't do that. The radio, we've got the um, the FUBM-1, 
Metox, tier 1 radar detector, that's three and a half grand, we obviously can't afford that. Anything in the con? No, nothing in officer's room or in the uh, crew compartments, nothing in the storage. Ah, diesel engines. Uh, we can get a snorkel, 8,000, that'd be good. Uh, electric engine, we can get accumulators 1, uh, higher capacity, increased by 25%, nice. And that seems to be about all we can get. I want you to know what this this pipe upgrade is. It's in it's in the toilet, which is a bit interesting, um, but I don't seem to be able to click on that at the moment. So we'll leave there. Right. Okay. Exit. Thank you very much and goodbye. Right with the captain as he comes out of the uh, out of the warehouse. There we go. We'll take him. We'll have the the Hoya Hoya boys coming past again. <laughs> And we'll have a word with this gentleman here, who's the recruitment officer. Captain, this may be your... Oh, I can't read that. This may be your new crew. Okay. It's very difficult to read against the light background. And we can potentially buy... Oh, he plans to rebuild his life in the Kriegsmarine. Oh, nice. You get a little bio on them as well. What? Finds himself in service. Weirdo. Oh, yeah. We need to get some weirdos on our crew. Yeah, brilliant. Great. That's, a, that's one hell of a thing to put on your CV. Uh, I will choose the crew for my next assignment. Okay, we'll leave it up for now. Uh, and what we need to do is come and have a word with the officer over here to get our orders. Klaus Schmidt. Admiral is deeply impressed by your last patrol. Tube 3 loaded. <laughs> Shouted that to us from the ship. Great. Uh, are there any orders from the Admiralty? I would like to ask for a few favours. Okay, this is when you build up your reputation points and you can buy... Let's... Can we have a look at this? Specialised crew. Look, we don't have any... Um, reputation but uh, increases officers limit on board to six so you get more officers specializes in tissue so get another officer free roam having this um, allows us to leave port without any assignments from headquarters nice go 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 rogue if you want and headquarters influence one opens up the possibility of send officers on missions in headquarters okay well we don't have any um, influence so let's just have a word to see if we can get our orders so, we've got a patrol in Sector CE, which is low difficulty. Uh, travel to Sector CE in the North Atlantic and travel 2,000 kilometers inside to complete this patrol. You may be given additional orders after reaching the area. Um, similar for um, the second patrol, which is in BD, which is a medium difficulty. And then we've got an espionage mission. Your goal will be to transport our spy unharmed to coordinates... 51 north, 1 west, near Portsmouth port. You may get additional orders at this point to help sp um, help the spy with carrying out his mission. Now, that sounds incredibly interesting. But it may not show us the bits that you really want to see, like, you know, finding a convoy and, and see if we can do some man manual targeting and that kind of thing. So, I'm kind of... Well, that sounds interesting... I think this is going to be better for showing off what else the game has to offer rather than a scripted mission, if that makes sense. We've already done scripted missions uh, in the tutorial, so I think a little bit of free roam will be um, beneficial to us to uh, really see. Where the, oh, there are the boys are over the other side of the port. Good. Right, let's get on board then. We have our orders. We need to travel to the area marked on the map and... Um, and get that sorted. Right, so the captain is on board, so... Right, map it is! Where are... we're here, and we need to go to... Western Approaches, where is... oh, CE is down here. Okay, that is our uh, destination. Let's have a look then. Let's uh, have a look at La Rochelle. And uh, we'll plot... We'll come out of port. Um, uh, let's have a look. Oh, we'll come. We'll come north. It. Uh, no, actually, we'll come. There we go. And we'll we'll head into the Bay of Biscay and straight to our our location. Right. Uh, not depth. Let's get the old tachometer and let's go. Good. Right, we are moving. Fantastic. Well, we should be. There we go. Lovely. Right, we're on the way. 
to do a patrol. And uh, everything is uh, good and groovy. Right. So we're, where is the captain? He is uh, up there looking backwards, which is wonderful. Uh, and all the other things. So a lot of people commenting that they don't like the fact that a lot of the um, the crew are just sort of sitting around doing nothing, which is, you know, I, I get that. I get that. But obviously leaving port, there's not much happening. You can see the purr and the, um, the bucking... Bronco <laughs> style diesel engines, which are pretty sweet. Um, that's all looking cool. Right. Uh, so if we have a look at the captain, he's on patrol. Let's get a couple of crew members up there on the watch list, on the watch crew, so uh, they can do that. The rest of it. Right. I think it's time to um, speed on up and get out of here, get out of Dodge, and uh, show you a little bit more about the game. So a lot of people have asked me what I think about this compared to obviously the. Uh, the other submarine game of this style I play, which is Silent Hunter 5. Um, so far, this feels very... Uh, it, it's got detail in some areas, and it's obviously a different style of game. It's more about crew management, I feel, than the actual simulation of the submarine. So for, um, for Silent Hunter 5, especially with the Worlds of Steel community mod on there, um, I feel that there's uh, far more detail, especially when it comes to, you know, if you want to do, you can do actual uh, real t navigation, you can do uh, manual targeting of the ships, and, and, you know, this, so far, I haven't seen that level of detail. Now, bearing in mind that Silent Hunter 5 has been modded heavily, um, so, you know, it's probably a little bit un uh, unkind to compare it too much. Let's have a look. We've got a transmission from HQ, so let's get that downloaded. Or, oh. there we go. What did HQ have to say? Your was standing orders to patrol that. Well, I knew that already. Thank you very much. We've got an unknown transmission. Let's have a listen to that. Out of range. Oh, damn. We'll get these boys to uh, get us over to where we need to be. We've got the two guys on crew, which is good. Color is navigating, which is great. And it's always important to keep an officer on the navigation. Because um, it's very simple... If you if you keep if you just sail far enough out to sea, then uh, if you don't have an officer on the navigation, then uh, you will not see your position on the map. So uh, yeah, that is something to uh, keep an eye out. Oh, we've got three. Oh no, he's gone to bed. The radio man's gone to bed, so we've got nothing to listen to, which is fine. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so our crew member, our navigator here, Cola, he had gone to bed, and as you can see, um, he's now trying to find the ship's fix. On the map, and until he does, our ship position is undetermined. Full map is not available. Now, uh, if you remember, our initial mission was to come down to CE, section CE. Now, uh, due to um, <coughs> due to an issue on my side with the uh, with the computer, and um, the game uh, restarted. Now, that's not the game's fault. That was an issue on my side. Uh, so I've reloaded up and come to where we were. Pretty much last time, but this time we got a mission to come down to um, DH. So that's what we're do we're doing. Once again, there is a lost ship, so it's a very similar um, style uh, mission. And we are we were here somewhere, so just west of Portugal, um, and we're just waiting for him to uh, find the position. We'll speed up time so we can uh, find it a little bit quicker. Let's have a look. Discipline is down. Let's have a look. Why is discipline down? Let's have a look. Is anybody skiving? Let's send the captain over there. Oh, he's burnt some scrambled eggs. Several sailors have complained about the meals being prepared. Uh, the ship's cook shakes with fear, uh, aware that the purpose of my visit afterwards, he wasted a large part of the rations. What punishment? Uh, put him on toilet cleaning. We can't have him burning the food now, can we? Um, anyone else skiving? He's busy, apparently. Uh, instead of free time, you'll be cleaning the toilets. Okay, that's good stuff. That's So that's sorted. Uh, we're now... Ah, is that where we need to go? That's probably the location. It's all a little bit... Let's just come back to normal speed so it doesn't feel quite so janky. Um, but yeah, we are in the middle of nowhere. Targets. Let's go to the map screen. Where are we? Have we found it? No, we're not. We're almost there. 
fixing ship position. I think we should be here somewhere. But the problem is, once our ship position is undetermined, if you if, if your previous course was heading south or whatever, um, you can drift off. You can be heading west before you know it. So that is a bit of a, a thing. You need to keep an officer really on the um, on the navigation at all times. As you can see, I've assigned crew members to each position, so they've got they got two crew uh, two crew to help them out. A couple of radio on the uh, nothing else to report. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, we're lost. Oh yeah, I knew that. <laughs> I just hadn't noticed the icon pop up there. Uh, this very much feels uh, like a yeah. It's more of a crew management than actually a U-boat simulator. Um, if you it feels like if you want to have the the pure experience of um, calculating the the bearing, the uh, angular bow, and the range and all that, you can do a little bit of that in this game. But you know, it's not to the level that you can get in Silent Hunter Five with the uh, Walls of Steel mod on. Um, so I think many people will find this a little bit. It's a great, it's a great game. There's lots of content here, but they may find it a little bit um, not exactly what they want. I also find playing on the single. Uh, sorry, in the first person mode to be very um, tricky and awkward. Although it says you don't have to play in, be forced to play in the you know, the the section management mode, um, it is in certain areas necessity because, um, ah, there we are. Right, let's head down here. All right, speed. Um, we are going speed. Well, let's go speed two. And get moving. Yeah, so for example, if we come into, let's get out of the map screen, if we come into the boat here, um, the worst position is here in the diesel engine room. If these two guys are working on the engines, you can't get past them in first person mode. So even they need to take the um, the clipping box off them, that, as they are now, you will not be able to get past them. You have to come out into compartment mode and send him on, um, which is a bit of a pain. What are you doing? William Wolf, what are you doing? Hang on, we got West here, let's grab him. Uh, apparently West is underwater. Now West is in the, the thing. What are you doing, Sunshine? William Wolf. Or I don't know. But we should be able to get past them here. But if he stops there, look, I can't. I, if they stand there, obviously he just moved. Then Peter's just moved. But if they do stand there, you cannot get past them, which is a bit of a bit of a problem. Uh, we're just going to do a bit of a patrol. He's cleaning the toilets. Look, <laughs> just what you want, isn't it? Burn the. Uh, Burn the eggs, cleaning the toilets. That's probably not the best punishment for a, a cook. The hell did we just spin around 360 degrees there? That was a bit weird. Or 180 even. 360, what am I talking about? Um, oh, yes. We seem to be. There seems to be an issue going in and out of hatches. You can glitch. And, we've done it again. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to waste any more time faffing around with that. It may be that we're in fast... No, we're not in fast mode anymore. I don't know what that's about. That's that's something they need to work on, because that will just become frustrating, especially in the uh, the heat at the moment. Anyway, we found our course, and we are heading to wherever this lost ship is. It's down here. So this is where the, the, the lost sub is supposed to be, and it's, we're just supposed to be searching for it. Um, let's get the captain. Let's get him up here, and let's get the old searchlight on then. Capitain, seeing as we we seem to be using you for everything, let's get the old searchlight on. If you'd be so kind. Herr Offizier. Uh, work the Uzo. Where is he? There he goes. Hey, old Capitain is now. Herr Kaloin is now climbing into the conning tower, up onto deck. Come on, sunshine. It's always bloody dark, isn't it? Always bloody dark. Light is on. Right, detection. Oh, we found it. There's an unknown group. There's a, a Type 7C sub. Apparently, we could not see that without the... Um, Head towards it. Right. Here she is. Oh, that's not him. Let's have a look at her then. Incept course. Let's have a look at her. Oh, she's got the same logo and everything as us. She's just sitting there like a little ghost ship. And that's us. You can see the glare from our um, searchlight. Nice. So she's just sitting there. Um, abandoned. The vessel has been abandoned by the crew. Oh, interesting. 
Should we uh, start targeting here? We better not. We better not. Right. Um, visual re uh, visual contact spotted. Another 150 will report back to HQ. New mission nearby. We can send our men on a mission nearby. Okay, let's have a look then. So we've, we've come up to the sub. Let's go all stop. Langsamer. We're slowing down. Try not to hit her, please. Try not to hit her. Right, okay. We can send our boys, apparently, onto onto that ship. How does one do that then, Captain? Hmm? I guess we... Do we click on that, Captain? Uh, and actually, we better not send the Captain. Let's send, um... Carla. Yeah, Carla. Go to the cabinet. Yeah, uh, put a hat on. Yeah, and you're going on board, Sunshine. Uh, get your officer, get your crew contingent. And I want you to stop playing cards and head over there. Is he going to do it? Let's see. He's still playing cards. Christ almighty. Playing cards. Leave the position. Good sake. They don't do anything. Don't do anything when asked. He's got his crash helmet on at least. Right, come on. Get up here. I'll do it manually if I have to. I don't care. You are going on that ship. I am the captain. You will obey. Right. Head down here. Right, investigate. Come there we here. go. Okay. Finally, U1017 is floating on the water surface without any living soul on the deck. Inspection from our U-boat makes it clear that the boat sustained major damage. It remains a mystery though what happened to the crew and why the enemy left it in such a state on the water. Let's send some crew aboard. So Hilbert Kohler goes aboard the ship uh, to continue the story. Okay, off he goes in his little inflatable. Now he's going on board inside. This is obviously just waiting for the counter to take down. So yeah, this is. I don't know. I don't know if this will appeal to um, hardcore Silent Hunter fans. To be fair, this this is very gamey, uh, and I think a lot of um, Silent Hunter fans, especially obviously that's been the mainstay of Silent Hunter World War Two uh, games for the last few years. Um, yeah, I don't think this is quite what they want to. Right, so Hilbert Kohler cautiously boarded U well, 1017. Reported that he could not hear any sounds from inside the ship. He went to the conning tower and carefully opened the closed hatch, then quickly ran into the barriers on the conning tower, clearly choking. He reported that inside the corpses of sailors, with dried blood flowing out of their eyes and lips. Good God. He had no doubt the ship was damaged by a mine which led to flooding of the batteries on board. Ah, which in turn released the chlorine gas which resulted in the death of the entire crew. Um, so, we have two options. We can uh, return to the boat. The boat must be sunk. It cannot fall into the hands of the enemy. Or two, oh, we don't have this option. Uh, mines the ship. Explosive charges will explode after a few minutes, sinking the vessel. Oh, we had to send an engineer to do that. Uh, maybe if we get west over, he can do that. Otherwise, we're going to have to use a torpedo, aren't we? Okay, so if you come out of there, return to the boat, and we'll get send west over to um, set some scuttling charges on board. Where's West? West? Air Cologne, get on board. I'm going to take lead position. There we go. Spin around. Here we go. Head to the uh, the deck, Sunshine. You are going overboard. Well, you've got a mission to go and sabotage and scuttle the U boat. Bit of a waste. Would be nice. Oh no, I was going to say, be nice if you could split your crew, but I suppose if they've got chlorine gas still in the um, <laughs> in the ship. There's uh, not a lot you can do with it. Right. 
Um, we're getting a little bit farther yeah, away, but um, we're going to send west over now. We've got plenty of these little inflatables, so don't worry. Oh, it's a little bit loose in the old um, controlling. Ooh, don't put them on the helm, that's for sure. Right. Fingers crossed the engineers are going to do the same investigation and come up with the same report, one would hope. Um, and then he can set the uh, scuttling charges and we can be away. Oh, such a shame. A waste of a boat. Well, you know, we could tow her back into port, I suppose. That'd be nice if that was an option, but that'd be very dangerous, of course. There we go. Okay, so same conclusion. Now he's going to mine the ship. So he's just preparing to scuttle. This way just saves a torpedo, you know. Sink the ship, sink the ship. Okay. So good they had to tell us twice, apparently. So yeah, what thoughts and comments in the section below? Uh, are you liking what you're seeing? Or do you think that this is a little bit too gamey? Some of you will want a U-boat game, and this will be perfect. But I know a lot of you will be wanting a simulation. And I'm not sure if um, this will be particularly floating your boat. These, these little game mechanics, right? Switch the uh, thing off. Can we... Um, there you go. There's, here, here, he, here he comes West back on his little... Boom, 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 boom. Scotland charges went. And uh, West, she's not sinking, Sunshine. She's supposed to be sinking. <laughs> uh, is it dropping at all? Let's speed up time, see if she does start to uh, take on water and sink. No. Bloody West. Bloody hell, he can't even scuttle a ship properly. Right. Fine. Um, let's get that targeted then. Cap Capitain. Calculate that. Let's move forward. Let's get... Um, Two to close down. It's flooded. Fire. It feels weird firing a torpedo. This is one thing we were trying to save so we didn't have to um, waste a torpedo because Wes went over to sabotage it, but clearly that was beyond his engineering skill. So hopefully a torpedo should now finish her off. Let's just stop the boat so we don't come crashing into the, uh, the wreckage. Boom! Right, I think that's fine leading it. Yep, she's sinking. Grand. Ah, should have done that straight away rather than... Um, waste time with West. But, theoretically he should have been able to sabotage it, but for some reason, he couldn't. Right. Anyway, job done. Um, mystery solved, and Captain. yeah. The ship will not fall into the hands of the enemy. Grand. Right. Anyway, so, this is our patrol route, so we've got all this area. So let's uh, head over here and continue on our patrol. And uh, see what joy and uh, we may find. Hopefully we'll come across something. We've got discipline is 95%. It'll be fully depleted in seven hours. Why will discipline deplete in seven hours? That just seems too gamey. Okay, we're just sailing along now. Right, we had oxygen or compressed air reserves were low. So I've just sent the captain. There he goes, he's coming back. We just put the... Um, diesel compressor on to try and improve that 64% brilliant that's now climbing 
it's really annoying that I'm having to assign an officer to do these kind of things. This should be automated by the crew. We've got crew standing around in that compartment. You know, ugh, it's frustrating that we got to send a crew member to do that. That should be something we should be able to. Well, I suppose we could. I, know, I just assumed that we have to send an officer. Could we? Yeah, I can't seem to select them. Oh, I'll take command. Hang on. No, never mind. Turn off the compressor. So the captain's now walking down there, is he? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Stand, stand down. Stand down, captain. Stand down. Go back on the old uh, Uzo. Yeah, work the Uzo. That's fine. Yeah, so who the hell is that? Wilhelm. What the hell are you doing standing on the, the deck, man? Not sure what he's doing. Unfortunately, I don't have an officer to spare. They're all in bed at the moment, so that's a bit of a disappointment. All right, so there's the lost ship sunk. Oh, the destroyer in the Corvette. Uh, I think they've just popped out of... Oh, we're just getting a little bit more visual range. They're over there. They're heading away from us, so... Um... Alarm! Off the pitch station. Okay, calm down. There's... Oh, okay, let's, um, let's have a look over there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sorry. Wrong button. Crikey. Right, so let's have a look. We've got the destroyer. Corvette. A Corvette. What the hell are these guys doing over here? Yeah, okay. We don't want to get anywhere near them. That's just going to be bad news. Uh, right, let's head on. Yeah, let's just get away from those warships. We don't need to. Uh, air is almost back up to 100%, which is good. Uh, let's just speed along. Let's get away from those ships. We don't need to be engaged in three warships. That's just not really any benefit in our engagement there. Turn off the compressor. I'll tell you what, shall I get the captain to do it? Because he's the only officer I currently have. See, this is... this this. Oh, that's that's quite pretty. Oh, that is very pretty, in fact. Oh, that's beautiful. Hang on. Can I just get a screenshot here? And I'll use that for my uh, cover. Oh, that's very nice. Like that. Right. Um, let's have a look in the compartment view. Do we have any officers back here? Oh, West is about. Hang on, West. Good man. He's woken up. Switch that off. Oh, let's turn on the diesel compressor. So did he wake up and switch it off? Okay, switch it off again. Brilliant. Sorry, go about your duties. So there is a little bit of automation if the... It would seem if the uh, officer is there. Is that right? Is, it, is that everyone else's experience? If, any, if we've got any backers of the game who are able to uh, have a look. Captain, what, what the hell is this guy doing? Let's just get control of the captain. See if we can have a um, a chat to Wilhelm. See what the hell he's doing. Oh wow! It's pretty, pretty. Hi right there, bud. Everything okay? Yeah, he just seems to be slightly lost. He's just lost. He's just a lost soul on board our ship. Fine. We don't seem to, he's not being ill-disciplined or anything like that apparently so that's grand yeah so although they do say you can play this in first-person perspective without ever having to be forced to do the any other view which we've, we've discussed before that you know going past these guys can be an absolute pain um, yeah I just I just think it's too janky when it in first-person perspective and that's how I like to play it um, Random crew member standing on the, the deck there. I love it. Right, let's move on and find something a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay, we've got a transmission from HQ. Let's have a listen. Um, standing order patrol. Okay, hang on. Scroll down. We can't do that. We have to grab that, apparently. Um, we have inf information that critical technology has been loaded onto the freighter Empire Leiden. It must be sunk at all costs. Predict... 
Uh, locations 29 North, 19 West. Okay. Where's that then? There. Head to... I did click there. Oh, and that's the intercept point. Has that automatically calculated the intercept point? That's interesting. Full speed ahead. Let's get there. And it's recalculated the intercept point. That is interesting. That is good. I like that. As long as it doesn't crash us into these small islands here, that will be absolutely grand. Let's uh, center on view on us. Captain, why don't you why don't you go to bed, sunshine? Um, because we'll need you very shortly, and we want you to be calculating. Here we go. Bit of action. Um, it's two twenty in the morning. So it's gonna be pitch black again. Oh, for crikes! Oh, we never get any daytime viewing, do we? Eh? It's always bloody night time. Right, 117 nautical miles to go. Going into travel mode or open sea mode. Speed up. There's that. Hopefully she's on her own. Tiny group, two to four ships. So let's come up to four. Oh, if, we can, if we can set them around seven o'clock in the morning, that should be nice and bright. Five. We're getting there. Boom. Here we are. We are close. Ah, oh, and the light has come. Sink the Empire Leiden. Lost ship. So it's these guys over here. Right, Capitaine. Wilhelm is still standing on there. Capitaine, get on the... Um, On that, please. Let's get these uh, checked out as best we can. Right, this is the um, group of Let's slow down a bit. We'll speed up now. Captain, there we go. Where are they? Detected. What do we got? We got three freighters. Nice. Let's target the front one then. Um, Captain, can you calculate? And let's have a look, see if they got... Right, so we don't know. Transport spotted, let's send that radio signal back to base, get some more renowned or, or budget, whatever they, they want. They call it budget, some points anyway. So that's got no... Doesn't appear to have any deck guns on it. You, you can see where I'm going with this. I'm thinking a bit of deck gun action, if we can. Um, similar to the Empire Bell. Okay, so here we go. He's calculating... What's that? The angle of bow? I'm guessing. Four nautical miles is the range. This is the uh, obviously the, the the plot. Oh, there you go. Angle oh, could be bearing. Um, we have visual. They're not aware of us at the moment. Discipline has dropped to eighty percent, which is bloody annoying. How come when we go to alarm does our discipline drop? They're coming up here. We're coming over here. So it might be a good idea to uh, head to periscope depth. 92. That's probably enough. We'll probably bang on the money there. Let's just have a look um, through there. That's horrible, isn't it? Um, that's a bit. I don't mind that one as much. Let's get the periscope nice and high. There we go. Now we can see them. Right, let's zoom in. Yes, better. Okay, this is a bit more like it. Right, how are we doing? This is the one we're targeting, isn't it? 95. Let's get the old torpedoes up then. Tube 1, flood. So we're going to have a shot at this one, and then we'll quickly calculate on that one. Right, tube one, fire. This freighter here. Target. The Empire Leiden. This is the one we want. Okay, tubes two and three, flood. Oh, two didn't flood for some reason. 
Alright. Oh, I don't like that mode. Say that mode. No, that one, man. No! I'll go that mode then. Can't see the bloody ships now. Leave that mode then. Okay, the torpedoes covered half the distance. Here she is. 40 seconds. And that's the ship we want over there. But this is the one we've taken the first pot shot at. 30 seconds, everyone. So this looks like a mounting point for a deck gun. Which is obviously not there at the moment. Is one torpedo going to be enough for, to sink this baby? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. She looks like she's gone. Good. Lovely. Right. So, spin the old view round. One burning ship. We're targeting this one now. How is the calculation? On that one is 72%. Right, so let's bring up. That should be enough to calculate tube 2. Fire. Nose! And then we'll calculate on this freighter up here, please. Torpedo ausrichten. Right, torpedo in Zivota. Okay, so you can zoot this. I do, the one thing I really like about this, like that's already sunk. Look at that. The, little, the guys on the little life raft. It's brilliant. Um, I do love the um, this map. This is this is great. I love how you can zoom in this 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 close and see the action from here. The Empire Explorer has been sunk. We can get twenty five thousand um, renowned or budget, as they call it. They, they rename that to something a little bit more exciting, please, than budget. Tube one has been reloaded. 10 seconds to impact. There's the torpedo. Good hit. Minimal damage. Okay, does she have a deck gun? It's a miss. Ah, oh, tube 3 missed. Okay. Um, tube 4. Flood. We've got what we got on this one. We've got a 75% calculation. Continue to calculate. We'll fire another torpedo down the old barrel. Her alarm is now signaled. Obviously, she's aware that we've had a shot at her. Of course, she would be. She's actually taken on water. Um, fire. Torpedo away. Now, this ship over here. Uh, unknown. Start Torpedo gathering Ausrichten. information on her, please. Meanwhile, let's have a look at this one. Oh, I, that, that, I probably didn't need to fire that, to be fair. Let's have a look, see if we can get any good... Ah, one thing you don't see is any part of the ship's keel underwater, which is disappointing. You can't tell the damage. Oh, wait, no, I tell a lie, you can. It was just... You can see that it's just the um, the murk of the water, the fogo wall, that makes it very difficult. Oh, you can see inside the hull as well. Okay, so this is our target, and uh, oh, she, that's a nice touch. Low discipline. Bloody hell. Always low discipline. My crew hate me. 20 seconds. I think she's going down. It. Yeah, she's going down. We probably didn't need to do this. It's a waste of a torpedo. I say a waste of a torpedo. It'll just finish the job quicker. So we got another one. Fire. There's a fire on the vessel. As time passes, it will cause more damage. So expect to see this health accelerate down. Oh, yeah, it's really ablaze now. All the trucks on the deck are really... Oh, there goes the life raft. Splosh. Yes, yes, I, I, I'm gonna. 
hazard a bet that she's gone. Right. Uh, Empire Leiden sunk 50,000 renowns. Nice. And there she goes. Oh, look, she's broken in half. Oh, that is nice. I like that. That's good. That's good. Nice nice damage model. Um, it's a bit of an odd that the actual the name badge seems to have survived. Which is slightly odd. But apart from that, no, no, that's pretty good. Okay, good. Fantastic stuff. What was that news alert? That more ships are coming in the area. Oh, that's, all, that's that lost torpedo. Um, so we got this 90% charged right what do we have torpedo tube one Rohr eins bewässern. flood one please and we'll have a pot shot at this one over here when she's flooded Rohr eins fire right let's have a look at this boat and how's she doing she doesn't have a duck gu a duck gun no no duck guns here let's um surface the boat Tanks anblasen. lovely all right, torpedo away. Can we actually track it? Yeah, we can track the torpedo. There we go. Uh, what what you can't do, which is really a bit of a pain, is actually how do you? Yeah, you can't spin the uh, camera around. Can we? Can we? No, we can't. Compressed air reserves low. Okay, hang on. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Let's get the old. Where's West? Get the old diesel compressor going. Let's get that. Um. There we go. Lovely. We'll get some uh, air sorted out. 40 seconds to impact. Here she goes. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Let's target that. We'll swing over here. Torpedo inbound. There you can see our sub surfacing over there. Ten seconds. Fire on board. Nice. Right. One thing I wanted to have a go at. Captain, you can do it. Can we uh, try the deck gun? It's a little bit choppy, but still, let's get a couple of crew on there. As long as she doesn't sink straight away. Oh, done. Whoa, okay. Captain, I wanted to have a go. Don't take all the fun away from me. Manual mode, here we go, right. So, we got armor. Why have we got armor piercing loaded? Hang on. Get some high explosives loaded. Uh, oh, I don't have a range finder. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, that's the. Is that a hit? She's going down, but. I was short, okay. Yeah, I'd like a little bit more detail around the actual deck gun. It was, I was just trying to ram a bit of deck gun action in. But she's gone. We've got a load of pontoons and uh, life rafts around here, which is all well and good. Maybe we can go and pick up some uh, survivors. Oh, look. They're, 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 they're going off ahead of us. Look at them. No, we don't want to be captured. Look at them go. Okay, Captain, stand down. We don't need to fire anymore. Uh, go back on the user, please. Stop firing. Uh, ammunition. Secure the deck gun. Right. Do you know what? Um, I think we're going to leave it there for this time. As I said, uh, it's it's mixed feelings at the moment. I think there is a great game here, but they're trying to be too many things to too many people, and not quite mastering anything. So yeah, jack of all trades, not really mastering one. Uh, our discipline is down to four percent, which is disappointing. Who the hell is misbehaving? This guy, slouching. West. 
sleeping. Let's get him arrested. There we go. Should be ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. My discipline would run out in one minute. There we go. Discipline is now increasing because we arrested that lazy sailor. What is he doing? Quest. Also check on this guy at the back here because I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, we can use his first warning so he can go on to toilet duty. So there we go. Our discipline is now increasing. So yeah, it feels very much like a, uh, a people management game rather than a, a U-boat sim as such. But still, lots of fun to be had and lots of... Um, it's an interesting bit of um, cooked meat. Uh, lots of um, interesting times, certainly, and adventures to be had. Right, but we'll leave it there for this time. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully that's shown you a little bit more of what this game has to offer. I'm sure there's loads I still need to learn. I know there is, that, for that matter. And as I say, this is constantly being updated. We'll just send the Empire Tower has been sunk. We'll send that radio message back as well. Um, so, And we can potentially look at the, the actual points. We've got over 100,000 renowned or budget now. We can certainly get a couple of upgrades for our boat next time. So we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up if you have. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell next to it so you get all the latest video releases into your video feed. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.